I anoint you in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you. Thank you. I anoint you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are hot. You are hot. Um, yeah, I'm seeing an arrow that they have thrown on you. You would nearly paralyze. The family of your father's house have organized a dead of you. Look at his face. I'm seeing you in mortuary right now. I'm smelling scent of dead people. Stretch your hands and pray right now. Bind every power of dead. Come and bind it. They want to destroy him. Or shall stand there. Come and pray. Bind. Just bind and loose. Bind and loose. Bind the spirit of dead from Samolai. Jesus name thank you for agreeing with me we are one in the Lord look at that what happened to his father and the father died the, the father died with stroke they paralyzed him and the dead was shot and because he's playing the role of his father in the family that's why the same spirit from the father's house has gotten him in our blood and working on him they have thrown an arrow in his head arrow in the chest doctor has told him he shouldn't eat some food you don't have to eat some food. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's not about food. It's a demon. And it's on your head, in your heart, and they are bound you to a tree, like a mango tree somewhere. They are bound you. And some time ago, you could not breathe. You could not breathe the way you wanted to. Eh? You yeah. nearly went. Eh? Yes, yes. But I couldn't breathe properly. Oh. Who is the third one in the family? it's my brother yeah you made a mistake the mistake is that you have helped all of them who's the second born it's me yeah the second born you have helped all of them which god which didn't consult god of helping all of them you have paid your school fees sister them help everywhere you have all the boys all you your mother everything is everything is you that's what i'm talking about you've done the wrong thing it was here god raised you it was here god help you even though the church didn't pay school fees but god prophesied that you complete your school you do masters in our blood you meet white people long story short and now everything came to pass but when god started giving you money and he established you a job you were all helping still your brothers and your mother up to date yes. giving them everything support big time yes. but god was hungry because ang anger angry because he did not buy anything for the ministry so when the attack came no angel no god nothing you alone when attack came nobody is around god is not around because it was god who raised you to this level and you should have even bought a bus something like all your tithe must be brought here all these years you know that i cannot ask i, I, I am not a, a beggar yes. uh -huh. but you know he's here even as you are come to ghana you are come to the church here because this, this is home but you have never done when you completed all your doctor degree physically you have never done anything physically for god in his church and god has been watching so when i talk him angel is not standing there god is not standing there you are fighting your own battle look at dead they want to kill him let's wait about three months may god forgive you of your sin how how could you love your mom and your brothers more than god I cannot love my family, my father's house and mother's house, their children or whatever, my brothers more than God. I should love God more. The Bible said, the one you commit, you become a servant too. Do you understand that? So learn a lesson from here. When we are suffering, we seek God's direction. But when everything is well, we stop asking God, that, why am I getting money too much? Why am I getting this? What do I have to do with this blessing that I'm getting? Look at that. This is mild, mild stroke, stroke, mild stroke. You could not speak for some time. Jesus Christ. He, he has gotten a doctorate degree. He's the youngest professor in Ghana. Yes. 
you saw him here last year i believe you saw him how he, he was handsome and, and look at now they have captured him already now we send angel to go to the tree and untie him we send angel to go to the tree and untie him angel untie him forgive him of his sins father forgive him of his wrong blame. Something you are looking for healing, you have been given healing, and through you too, because of your testimony, you have faith to believe to, to pray for your patient. Your, your, your patient, and it happened. Yes. And since that time, I have been spoken to Madonna again because it's you, your phone that you give to her to permit to speak. Yes. The Lord says that is healing that God uses his people to heal people and children is now on you. Amen. That is healing, that anointing that from today. You are still presented so much anointing to you that you don't need healing. You have been given the divine heart. So we life. And from today, there's an anointing in your hands that any child that is sick in your church in Maryland, as you place your hand on that child, the child will be healed. If you have a disease, will disappear. Today, I invest it to you that power of the gospel. Come on, give it to Jesus. I give you praise, you all praise. Thank you, Jesus. You are well done. Thank you. Thank you. It's your ministry that you have used to let me talk with some big people like Tumor Smiley and many others. Thank you. It's your ministry. That is it. So God has given you, given us healing ministry now. Yeah. I will see you and God show me. And the rest stop talking from this to this point. Knowing that this time she doesn't need healing. Healing is not for adults, healing is for babies, children. Healing is for children, but Zoe is for adults. So now Zoe is in her. This woman will not fall sick again for today. A certain man that power call, this gives man a call, will not fall sick again. No more impediment. Ever. You are secure. Your blood. Your blood is being, is being cleansed and cleaned by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, your blood is being purified and sanctified. You are in the blood group A. Amen. The power of God is in you. The anointing of God is in you. You will live longer about 109 years. 109 years. And even then, if you wish to go to heaven, God says, don't come. Stay here and continue dreaming. Your dreams in Ghana within a very short time will come to pass. They fought with you, they tried you, and God has killed one of them and one to go, so you have your liberty. Amen. A woman was dead because she was insisting that they should kill you on your husband's lineage so that they have it and God kill her for you. Another one will go for you. But your husband will leave, you will leave, don't shoot them. Nice man, when I, I, I stood here and I look at the face, I pity you and I was crying within me. So, Lord, such a great man, he's supposed to move forward. Why? Anytime you fast, you pray and you break generational cases from your life. Somebody comes to comment it again. For over 12 years ago, you used to fall sick and sick and sick to the sense that you could not walk well. When you walk, it's not, you feel dizzy. That's true. When you go to hospital, they say there's nothing wrong with you. But you were weak and you feel dizzy and then you thought your heart would be would be panting. Yeah, that's correct. Until God told you that because a demon had been sleeping with you and then the sperm had been out, that's the blood. That sperm is blood. That's why they took it to laboratory and they did this one. Yeah. Look at that. Somebody close to you praying a row of mother. When you break it, she committed. That's a stronghold. Fighting against your finances, fighting against your blessing, fighting against your marriage, fighting against everything that you have, you have set your hands upon. We want to tell you to become stagnant. And what God is deciding. You were praying two weeks ago, crying and praying in your room. So, Lord, is it me? When could I reach here?
Amen. God should save you and kill her. 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 God should let you marry, prosper, have children, have cars, have money, and kill her. It is done. And this time, you will not send it anywhere again. Your no, amen is not strong. Amen. anointing so that you give birth naturally like one of the Hebrew women. But and my first goal was serious. So the first one they did the operation and then this one too we have to pray so that God will move. Because I'm seeing dead. Dead is on a in the face. Either she will survive, or they will not survive, or they will survive, and she will not survive. That's what I'm going to pray. I'm not a prophet of doom. Thank God that I'm standing here because Jesus has already come here. Because. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere Jesus went to, in the scriptures, check them. Any house he went and that was dead, he lives the praise, the dead alive. So if God is speaking like this, I stop because He reveals to Redeem. that that demon from your mommy's house will leave you disabled. They have worried you, worried your marriage, and the man has been out taking all the women, going out here and there, and no money, spend the money with all the women, and you are all suffering, and with all this, this one also, they will leave you. Come on, they will leave you. Your mom's out, they will leave you. I can't continue. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ. I can continue. They go talk with I can that day. Yes, but it. Ow! 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 You just put it. Ow! Come on, man. Disconnect you from the baby and from the mommy and from the house right now. Come on, thank you, Lord Jesus. Face into God's face. Amen. 
I change your life into God's life. Amen. I give you life. I put the life of God in you. Amen. Into your baby. I declare normal, normal delivery for you and your baby. Amen. Your baby will not die. You will not die. Amen. God will give you money before and after your delivery. You give you big money. You need money. No, no money. <laughs> No money for the delivery. <laughs> All right, so I'm coming. Well, I'm taking my match. Who brought this sister? You, you brought it from where? From La Paz. From, from La Paz. Yes. Do you know her by the way? Yes. My sister. She, we are do, you, do you know what she's going to do? I know. Oh, the, the husband will be going out. Yes, I know. Oh. Every day. And she doesn't have money. We'll give, we'll give her half of the gun. So sit down. Sit down. Go rest. Go rest. Go rest. Because your, your father's house, there's an idol there. Your mother's house, there's an idol there. He becomes so. Say, I've taken Jesus. I've taken Jesus. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Forever. Forever. With me. With me. And my family. With my family. Who will serve the Lord. Who will serve the Lord. Amen. I want to give it to you. We are not black here. So I want to lay down and give it to you. This is awesome. I give it to you. Jesus, Jesus says, I should give you this one. Father my God. To my baby. Amen. Somebody pregnant and the man is going somewhere, giving the money to the other girlfriends, and the labor world is, is very close. And she lays over uh, 2,000 Ghana for the labor world 1.5, 1.5, I mean, 1,005 to 2,000. And the God has just given her a beginning. And I know that before you close somebody to oh, bless of somebody. Life. So the ministry work is not for gain. It's not for gain. You will hear God, the, the, the voice spoke, give uh, the five and more. There's nothing I could do. I'm not God. I'm a servant just like you. Any times you give it to Jesus Christ. Thank you. Bring it here. Let me tell that woman again. The woman has come back. 
that woman that they gave name to her. Who are you? Out! 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 This one for my feet. It's your work. I'll pray for you. Yeah. You feel some heaviness on your stomach all the time. Something. You feel heaviness on your stomach all the time. That they are doing something. You feel it. Huh? When I eat, I don't get full, but I feel like I'm full. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing something like uh, mortar. Do you know mortar? They used to come for food. Mortar and then the pistol. But the mortar is only the pistol that they have cut the top and the half one. They have planted it into the womb and then it comes out from the womb, from the womb and it just there. Just picture what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing this right now. It's brown, strong one. I have pain. And you have pain? Yesterday I was with my husband and he was trying to touch me and I told him to stop. I'm feeling pain for about one week. I'm going to pray for you and then to move. Go and stand there at the altar. Yeah, so we're about to get married. But next year you're going to buy around two pots. And you're going to register it and you start to work from this year. That's the assignment God has given to you. When I say you're going to grow, God has a part to pray. You also have a part to pray. He's going to help you. And very soon you're going to see the man you're going to marry. And if you want to do your wedding in this church, you're most welcome. You can do it if you want, if you want to. Mm -hmm. So now everything is showing in your body. Your body is mature, everything's ready. And then when you marry, if you don't get twins, it will be one, 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 four. Thank you. So let's go inside the altar. Yeah, now talk of your life. And when I take you back, you see all the things you went through, men came into your life to mess you up. And all the foolish things they did with you and they disgrace you. Here. Because you thought that one of them could have married you. Yes, that was very true. And God did deliver you about four or five years ago. And all that you went through was so serious. And now you are married. And now you are about to leave and go to the US. But they are giving you a green card, a green card, a visa. And you are about to go. The most important thing is this. Take everything from that house before you travel to US because when you go you're gonna stay there. So you need to take everything. Whether the meant is due, it's not due, give out to them. Don't let none of your brothers or sister anybody stay there. If they can refund the money to you, fine. If they don't do, just pack and go because it took the glory of God to take good care of you in the area. The area is bad boys, good smokers. And how God has managed to be to protecting you there. It just has been a come and they can't touch you, they can't pursue you anymore. There are dogs there who have been barking every night. Huh? So God has been protecting you in the area that is awkward, but vanity, but billion in praise. In a car here. So you are living to join your husband in the USA. The visa is ready, the green card is ready. What a big miracle that God has done for you since you came to redemption. What a great miracle that God Almighty has done for you. Look at the humiliation, disgrace, retardation, rejection, loneliness. Trying to kill yourself. And look at it now. Look at the old picture and look at the new picture. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Love is so yeah, yeah, thank you, Jesus. I love because he has saved your life. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. Oh, yes, you are wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love you so much. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's good. Come on. That's good. Praise Jesus. Glorify Jesus. Honor Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. He's the only one who can change life. You know how to drive? 
Please. Okay, get ready. A car is coming. Amen. So you'll be driving a railway. Eh? Amen. And the time is coming, you're going to work in the ministries. Do you know ministries? Accra ministries? Eh? That's where I'm working on. Give the Lord a grand for one more time. Glorify Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We can glorify fresh. Fresh can't do anything like that. It's only God. Glorify Jesus. Amen. If you satisfy Jesus, he becomes so much happy. And he loves you so much. And he does so much in our lives. We don't honor anybody. Honor Jesus. Because it's Jesus who made air, stars, the galaxies. He, he made it. No doctor can make air. Air, just common air. We feel it, we have not seen it, but he sees the air every day. So I, because of this, I fear him. Apart from the ocean, I mean, the blue sea. God is so amazing. I want to cancel this, this appointment. You wanted to be president of Ghana. You have that ability, you have that confidence, even though you are not well known. You know that if you have contest, contested or you could have joined them, you will win. You have that ability, and I want to congratulate you for that faith. Don't throw away that confidence, because one day, it will hit. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. One thing I mean, is that when you're of late, instead of your girlfriend to agree with you, to even to encourage you, she, she keeps demanding. And it's happening, worrying you so much. Yeah, instead of to encourage you and manage you with you, so you reach somewhere. See, just always demanding, demanding, demanding. It's just it's a bad turn. That is very true. Very, very true. So, I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying very hard to work on it. Because as it is, it's like you need to sit. Sit with her and plan about job. Something you and her will do and in turn will bring something up. Apart from anything that is before you, you are planning to do. Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't do anything. Whatever work that she was doing, she has blown it up. She has had so much money, but she has such trouble. to take Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Kindly pray with me. Oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that you raised him from the dead. And I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from today. I receive by faith remission of sins for my soul. And right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am born again. Hallelujah. You are now a child of God.